Hi everybody, this is Salma Benawan. Welcome to the pre-release material for the May 2020 examination, the wildlife park. And in this video, we're going to be talking about task one and most of task two. So in the last video, we looked at the description of the pre-release material. Here is the information that we need. And we stored that information in one dimensional arrays. So quick recap of the task one in this video, we're going to again look at displaying the options, attractions and prices for one day tickets for two day tickets. And we're going to concentrate on task two, extend your program for task one to input the tickets and extra attractions required, then calculate the total cost of the booking, allocate a unique booking number, display the booking details, and finally repeat as required. Quick recap of task one in the form of a flow chart. So at the beginning of any algorithm, we're going to have initializations or storing data. Here are the data that we need. They're stored in five arrays. And highlighted, we have a for loop. And this for loop is going to iterate five times. Count equals one, two, three, four, five. To be able to show what is inside the array ticket type and cost one day. Finally, when we finished iterating five times through those two arrays, we have another for loop in the form of a flowchart, which we're going to iterate two times through the extra attractions array and the extra attractions cost array. After that, we're simply going to repeat the previous flowchart for two day tickets. So here are the ticket prices for two day tickets, and we have a for loop that's going to iterate five times to show the data for the two day tickets. And, and after that, we have another for loop to show that's going to iterate three times to show all the extra attractions for two day tickets. And for the last video, that was, that should be the output you get from task one. So as we can see, task one had part A store the data, part B display the data for one day tickets, part C display the data for two day tickets. As I said in the last video, if you're quite tech savvy and you want to do the date time using importing the library for, eight time, for date time, you can also use part D from this video. It's 16 lines. And this part D is going to be able to let you show today's date whenever you run the program, divide the date into current year, month, and day. And then you can have an array to show how many days are available in the next week because the program says, the description from the pre-release says that you're allowed to book up to a week in advance. If you understand this part and you want to implement it, go for it. Part D from task one. If you don't, that's okay. Leave it. We'll try to find an easier solution. Let's get to the contents of today's video, which is task two. In task two, this is the main task where you're going to get input from the user, how many people are coming and you're going to, and how many attractions do they want? And you're going to tell them, how much they need to pay. So line one, we have print welcome to the wildlife book park booking system. Line two, booking number equals zero. So we're going to initialize a variable and this variable is going to make sure that every time somebody comes to book, we can give them a unique booking number by incrementing this variable by one. So task two is basically 10 steps. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So we have 10 steps. Here's step A. Step A is we want to have a while loop. As long as the booking is open, as long as the wildlife park is open for bookings, then we have some steps that we need to go through. We need to go through steps B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So have a look at line three and four. Line three says booking open equals input. Would you like to book yes or no? Line four, while booking open equal equal yes. So as long as the user inputs yes. Okay, notice that line three is saying is taking the input for booking open. Before we start the while loop, we have to take the input for booking open. And before end while, in today's video, that's going to be line 45. So at the very bottom in line 45, we have booking open equals input. We have to make sure we have line 45 inside the while loop. So I've put this green line to show you the true indentation of where all of, you know, task one was and the beginning of task two and every single thing inside task two is going to be indented to the purple line. So steps B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J are all indented. They're inside the while loop. These are the steps that we need to do in task two. So I need to make sure that it's very clear that the green line is, you know, ta line one, two, three, four are at the green line for task two. 
everything else in task two is going to be at the purple line. It's going to be one tab indented inside the while loop. So for today's video, inshallah, we are going to program part A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And we have line 45 at the bottom, so you can easily test out and make sure up until G is working. And next week, we'll have a video for H, I, J. So part A, we're done. We have said booking open equals input. Would you like to book? Yes or no? Line 3, line 4, while booking open equals equals yes. So the step B is we need to generate a unique booking number. So line five says booking number equals booking number plus one. This will create a unique booking number and line six will show that unique booking number. Also in line seven, we're going to ask the user, which day are you starting your journey? Which day start equals int input? Are you coming on the first of the month, second, third, fourth? Okay, you could add some validation from one to 31. My validation is on line eight and nine because I did that extra part D of task one, which has you know the code for using date time. So my validation is on line eight and nine. If you didn't do that extra code, that's okay. If you want to put some other validation to make sure there's a range check, that people come between, a, they type either one to 31, that would be a great, you know, that would be a great validation. Okay, part C, we're gonna input the number of days the user is coming. And part D, we're gonna validate according to a lookup check. So the number of days they can come is either one or two because we either have one day tickets or we have two day tickets. So this is how we implement a lookup check. Okay, we say in line 11, while number of days is not equal to 1 and number of days is not equal to 2, then line 12, number of days equals int input error, the number of days is incorrect, please type 1 or 2. So part E for task 2 is we're going to input are you a group or not? So are you a group of people? Because remember, if they're a group of people, they're going to pay per person. And now... Part F is going to be line 14 to 25. If group equal equal yes and number of days equal equal one. So we have a group and they're coming for one day. The first thing we're going to do on line 15, we're going to ask them how many people are you in your group? Num group people equals int input how many people are there in the group. Line 16, the total cost is equal to num group people multiplied by cost one day the fifth element which is cost one day bracket four because that is the last cost in our cost array and this is fifteen dollars per person if you're coming as a group line 17 print the, to the total cost of a group for one day is total cost line 18 line f equals input would you like to add extra attractions line feeding is 2.50 per person yes or no Line 19, if line F equals equals yes. So if the people said yes, we do want to feed the lions. Line 20 will recalculate the new cost, adding in. So say total cost equals to the previous total cost plus num group people times extra attraction cost of zero. So this is adding the lion feeding per person. Line 21, print the total cost for a group of one, for one day with extra line feeding is total cost. Line 22, penguin F equals input. Would you like to add an extra attraction? Penguin feeding is $2 per person, yes or no? Line 23, if penguin F equals equals yes. Line 24, total cost equals total cost plus num group people multiplied by extra cost bracket one. So this will have the extra cost of feeding penguins multiplied by the number of people. And finally, line 25 is gonna print the total cost for a group for one day plus that they're going to feed the penguins as well. So now we finished part F, which is going to calculate the total cost if we have a group and they're coming to the wildlife park for one day. Part G is going to be from line 26 to 41. And this is going to be if the group, if it is a group of people and they're coming for two days. So it's basically copy paste of lines 14 to 25, except that we're, instead of wherever it says cost one day, it's going to be cost two days, and we don't have just only two extra attractions, we can also add a third extra attraction. So let's go through these lines. Line 26, elif group equals equals yes, and number of days equals equals two. Remember that if is, you know, on the purple edge, and elif is on the purple edge. Everything from line 27 
to 41 it's not on the purple edge it's indented further okay so line 27 num group of people equals int input how many people are in your group line 28 the total cost is equal to the number of people in your group multiplied by cost two days array brackets four to take the fifth element which is uh, 2250 per person and line 29 print now the total cost is line 30 line f would you like to feed the lions line 31 if line f equals equals yes line 32 the total cost equals total cost plus number of people of the group times extra attraction cost of bracket zero because that is the cost for feeding the lions and penguin f equals would you like so that was line 33 we can print now the new total cost line 34 add the you know, input, would they like to feed the penguins? Line 35, if penguin feeding equals equals yes. Line 36, update the total cost, the running total cost. And line 37, print the new cost. Line 38, barbecue equals input, would you like to add a barbecue, $5 per person? Line 39, if barbecue equals equals yes. Line 40, total cost equals total cost plus number of group people times extra attraction cost, bracket two. Print the total cost with the barbecue is total cost. Now we're gonna have line 42, line 43, line 44, line 45 are now at the purple line, indented to the purple line because they're just before we close the while loop. Remember the entire task two is inside the purple line. And line 42 is just going to show the booking number. Line 43 is going to show the day that they're starting and how many days they're coming. Line 44, the total cost. And line 45 is going to be asking for input again. Is the park open for business again? Will we iterate again? Yes or no? In the next video, we're going to insert here the code for part H, I, and J, which is the code if they're not a group of people. So if there's some adults and some children and some families coming, not a group of people, stay tuned for that video. Here's the output if you follow the video. So what's in gray, that's if you used part D from task one, which is the date time, then it will show you, you know, today's date and the days available in this month and they will have an array that you can book a week in advance. That's okay if you do that part, great. If you don't, that's fine. Here's today's main video, which is task two. So in task two, we showed welcome to the wildlife park booking system. We asked them, would you like to book yes or no? And if they said yes, then the first thing we did, your booking number is one, select the day you'll come to the park. I'm coming on the 10th of booking for one day or two days, two days. Are you a group of six or more to get a special discount? Yes. How many people are in your group? 10. Okay. So if there's 10 people coming for two days and each day is 2250, the total cost should be 225. Correct. Would you like to add an extra attraction? Line feeding is 250 per person. Yes. So that means we're going to add another $25, you know, 10 times 250. The current total for a group for two days with extra line feeding is $250. Would you like to add another extra attraction? Penguin feeding is $2 per person, yes. The current total for two days with the extra penguin feeding is $270. Would you like to add a barbecue? $5 per person, yes. The current total cost for a group for two days with extra barbecue is now $320. And then we have our summary, which is coding line 42, 43, 44, 45. The booking number is one. The booking is day 10, valid for two days, and the total cost is 320. Would you like to continue to reserve a booking, yes or no? I put yeah, no to close the program. If you put yes, everything will repeat again. So part B, C, D, E, F, G, that's what we've programmed, we'll repeat again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you come and see the rest of task two next video. Let me know in the comments how your programming is going. Thanks again and bye-bye.